God's quarterback. The entire sports world is up in arms over Tim Tebow and his below-average quarterbacking abilities and his above-average faith in God. Why is everyone so upset? I can see those who aren't Christians not understanding the things of God, but what I don't understand is why Christians are mocking him for bringing his faith onto the football field. I've been told by several Christians that God could care less about football, or you have to give credit to the rest of the team. God has nothing to do with it. What kind of moron are you, Mr. Super Christian? God could care less? Really? Then he could care less about you. The fact is, is that God cares about every aspect of our lives and he wants to be involved. The reason why God is not moving in your life, Mr. Super Christian, is that your life is so full of crap, you can't see beyond the smell. You live like the world, claim you know God and what he desires while living a life of compromise. Or maybe you're so stuck in religion that you won't allow God to do anything new. You have no relationship with God because your religion won't accept anything that overflows outside the confines of your religious cage. What's that smell? What's that smell? It smells like dead religion. Tim Tebow's relationship with God is so close that it affects the entire Denver Broncos organization and it's spilling over into the fan base of the NFL. God cannot help but get involved with his children. That's what the heart of the father is, man. What is true is that Tim Tebow lives a life above reproach. And most Christians' lives are so compromised and religious that they cannot live to the standard Tebow has set. And that makes them angry, forcing them to speak bad against T Tebow and leave no outlet for any kind of miracles to happen in their own lives. And what does the Bible say about being angry against your brother? Matthew 5, 21, 22 you're familiar with the commands of the ancients. Do not murder. I'm telling you that anyone who is so much as angry with a brother is guilty of murder. Carelessly call a brother idiot and you just might find yourself hauled to court. Thoughtlessly yell stupid at him and you're on the brink of hellfire. The simple moral fact that words kill. Miracles don't happen in your life, Mr. Super Christian. And we wonder why the church is so impotent. Let's take a lesson from Tim Tebow and set our Christian standard level with his or above, and maybe God will show up in your life and do some miracles like he does on the Broncos playing field. I'm the BOC, and that's how it is.